This is the Kensington Profit Ergo Vertical Mouse that I've been using for the past 24 hours since unboxing it. And here is the TLDR summary for those of you who don't have the time to sit through my entire video, but yet click in to watch my videos. This one is for you guys. So my overall impression from using it at least 8 hours a day for about 3 days, that makes up about 24 hours, turned out to be pretty good. There is surprisingly not much thumb strain as I initially expected. The trackball experience is phenomenal and easy to learn. The trackball was really really smooth and fun to work with. The Bluetooth and 2.4GHz connection had no issues or whatsoever. The tilt function on the scroll wheel is nostalgic, brings back good times with the M720 Triathlon mouse. There are more buttons than a regular mouse, however, I am disappointed with the device switching situation. Now, all of these are the main key points of this 24 hours review of using the Kensington Profit Ergo Vertical Trackball Mouse. Yes, it is a very long name. And if you want to know a little bit more, then feel free to stick around for this video. I promise that it won't be too long because I won't be diving into the specs as I will leave that for my usual in-depth review sometime in the future. That being said, let's dive right in. So I've been a conventional mouse user for the longest time and a couple of years back I've switched to using a more ergonomic vertical mouse from the Bitsync vertical mouse to the Logitech Lift vertical mouse, all of which I did really really enjoy using. Now switching over to using a trackball really surprised me as it didn't seem too hard to get used to. A quick look at the overall build, it is a vertical trackball that has a 60 degree angle of elevation, making your hand grip in a very very neutral and comfortable position as compared to using a conventional mouse. Although this is a trackball, but with just 10 minutes of use, I was able to learn and adapt quickly, and rolling the cursor over to close applications was pretty easy. Overall, the experience was a good one. The buttons were a bit clicky and loud. The forward and back button being directly beside the left click needs some time to get used to, especially the back button requiring your finger to be stretched a little bit backwards before reaching it. The scroll wheel is click to click and you can even tilt left and right using the middle click button. I love this feature a whole lot and back in my M720 Triathlon mouse video by Logitech was the only mouse that had this feature. Even the MX Master 3 didn't have this feature so having it on the Kensington Profit Ergo Vertical is absolutely amazing. Apart from them, there are two additional buttons that can be reached with your thumb which are these two right here. And the last button with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth logo is the device switching button, which by the way is absolutely disappointing. Um, we'll talk about it in just a second. Now the rest of the things under the mouse are like the trackball removal button where you press all the way and the trackball falls out of its socket. There is a laser inside of the socket that tracks the movement of the ball that simulates your hand movement similar to a conventional mouse. The other buttons include the on and off switch, a DPI switch, and also the pairing button for the Bluetooth devices. Powering the device uses two AA batteries, and lastly a compartment to keep your USB dongle that comes with the box. Now coming back to this annoying little button, the device switching button. Now the fact that you get to switch up to three devices is convenient, but there is a huge but. You would think that in order to switch between devices, you just click the button and then switch over to the next device, right? Wrong. A quick breakdown of the device switching steps and you will get to understand how frustrating it is. So the first click lights up the current mode that you are in and if you keep holding it for a solid 3 seconds, only then you will be able to switch to the next device. If you only have two devices that you want to constantly switch back and forth, it's not just 3 seconds but 6 seconds. Hear me out. From the 2.4GHz mode switching to Bluetooth device 1 takes up to 3 seconds and to cycle back to the 2.4GHz you would obviously need to go to the second Bluetooth device which takes another 3 seconds and the total time takes up to be about 6 seconds, right? Referring to the M720 Triathlon mouse for example, Bluetooth switching was such a breeze. A single click on the button indicates which mode you are on and another click automatically changes it to the next mode essentially making it a double click to switch device. To me, it just didn't make any sense that this Kensington trackball mouse would need you to long press for a solid 3 seconds being able to switch device. Apart from all of the hardware, I have also very quickly downloaded the Kensington Work application, a personalized software to customize this trackball mouse for all of the available buttons. 
but unfortunately there is no configurable setting for this horrendous device switching button. That being said, I will be experimenting this bad boy alongside a Mac and Windows setup, having a single mask setup toggling back and forth with Windows and Mac for my day-to-day -day use. So be sure to be subscribed to the channel to not miss out on the full review on the Kensington Profit Ergo Vertical Mouse in the next couple of months. Hopefully. That being said, that's pretty much everything I have for you guys in this quick 24 hours impression and review of the Kensington Profit Ergo Vertical Trackball Mouse. But this is my very first trackball mouse and I'm really really excited to try this one out and hopefully this finds a place on my test setup for the years to come. If you have any questions and things that you would like me to test out, be sure to leave me in a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. As always, thank you all so so much for tuning in. My name is Ken and I'll catch you all in the next one. Stay safe, peace out. And bye-bye. We're done.